I'm Lil Valdez and today I'll be sharing with you about what the Father sees. If you have your Bibles with you, if you can open it to the book of John, chapter 4, verses 23 to 24. It says here, But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. The context of this passage was when Jesus was speaking with a Samaritan woman and Jesus said that He is, you know, whoever drinks from the living water, whoever drinks from Him will never be thirsty again. And at that time, Jesus was asking the Samaritan woman for a drink. And the conversation turned into a conversation about worship and this was jesus's response because the samaritan woman was asking about where should we worship and then jesus was saying right here let me read to you the passion translation of of this um, passage From now on, worshiping the Father will not be a matter of the right place, but with the right heart. For God is a spirit and he longs to have sincere worshipers who adore him in the realm of the spirit and in truth. You know, Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. And so how do we worship God in spirit and in truth? It's through Jesus himself. Jesus is the way. You know, and it's Jesus who who sent the Holy Spirit to us. And the Holy Spirit guides us into all truth. You know, in Romans chapter 8 verse 15 says, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. It's the Holy Spirit deposited in us through Jesus Christ that makes us worship, that leads us to worship God in Him, in spirit and in truth. And you know, in Matthew 15, verse 8 and 9, Jesus was saying here, you know, God was saying that these people honor me only with their words for their hearts are so very distant from me. I'm reading from the Passion Translation. They pretend to worship me, but their worship is nothing more than the empty traditions of men. That's why the Father has been seeking true worshipers. And, you know, let me tell you, there's this um, really beautiful passage. It's, it's found in the book of Samuel 13, verse 12, about God seeking. And he found David. It says here, the Lord has sought for himself a man after his own heart. You know, the Father has been seeking worshipers. And we have always been, you know, seeking something to worship. And it's it's kind of second nature to us to worship something. Pag pumunta tayo sa isang magandang lugar, di ba? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, di ba? Ganun yung reaction natin. And you know what? When we see Jesus, just how beautiful He is, you know, He's given His very life for all of us. And worship is just our response. It's a just response to Him. And that's exactly what the Father seeks. The Father is glorifying the Son, and the Son glorifies the Father as well. The Holy Spirit reveals to us more of the Father and the Son. And right now, if you're in a, you know, in a place wherein you feel lost, when, when Adam sinned against God during creation, Genesis chapter three verse nine, God's response was, "Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, 'Where are you?' Until now, the Father is seeking worshippers." The Father is calling out sons and daughters, seeking for people who will worship Him in spirit and in truth. And if 
you know you know in your heart that that's you just go ahead and return to the father respond to him in worship adore him return to the lover of your soul we love because he first loved us jesus commands us to love the lord your god with all your heart soul mind and strength that's the first and greatest commandment so right now let's just love on the lord let's just go back to our first love the lover of our souls and respond in worship and worship him in spirit and in truth thank you father lord for your word this this day and father we just allow your word to be planted in our hearts lord may we remind ourselves lord that you are seeking after us sons and daughters worshipers true worshipers who will worship you in spirit and in truth and so we adore you lord not just with our lips we don't want our hearts to be far from you we choose to respond rightly and help us to respond rightly abba because you are worthy lord you are worthy of all our wholehearted devotion lord of our love god and so we love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We worship you and you alone, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.